Howard G. Buffett has been investing in the future of Rwanda for over two decades. This includes establishing the Rwanda Institute for Conservation Agriculture, RICA. RICA students are learning to build a bright future for Rwanda by teaching the system of conservation agriculture to farmers in order to build and protect the Rwanda's soil, to increase food production, ensuring all Rwandans have access to affordable, wholesome food. RICA's founder and chancellor, Howard G. Buffett, joins us to explain the purpose of RICA and how RICA students will contribute to a bright future for Rwandan agriculture. For me, RICA um, is about finding ways to train farmers through an educational process and also in that process train students to be able to become, some may become biologists and scientists, some may become marketing people, some may become uh, you know, evangelists for conservation ag, but, you know, give them the tools and the opportunity to learn about what they can do for Rwanda in agriculture. One of the most difficult things to do in farming is to get farmers to change their behavior. They don't want to change their behavior. They're used to something. They're familiar with something. They're comfortable with it. Uh, it's how they've always done it. It's how their dad did it, their grandfather did it. So trying to convince people, uh, particularly farmers, to change how they're doing something is incredibly difficult. And so the idea is that there'll be enough uh, kids that come out of RECA that latch on to how important conservation agriculture is and the changes that it can bring to Rwanda and Rwandan farmers that they will become really evangelists for the mission of, of making, you know, giving, giving farmers the education and the knowledge and the opportunity to um, farm better and farm differently. And, you know, I, I think that we're so used to tilling the soil, we're so used to seeing farming done a certain way that it really presents a big barrier in terms of just changing people's mindsets but RICA is about trying to do that. So from the very beginning, when we looked at how to establish RICA, um, we knew we'd have to partner with the government. And through that process, we were able to learn from the government what their priorities were. And of course, many of their priorities aligned with what our priorities were. The, the, the idea that someday we might be able to bring something to Rwanda that the government can appreciate and embrace, you know, it doesn't start there. What it, it, start, it starts in a very tough spot, to be honest with you, because you've got to build an institute and you've got to get through all these uh, challenges of, you know, you know, how are you going to develop the academics and, and, you know, how do you identify the right students? And you have all these other things going on. But once you kind of settle in, which we're getting to that point, once you kind of settle in, then you can focus more on the mission. And the mission has to be driven uh, as much by our interest as what the government would like to see accomplished. And that has been a very uh, seamless transition for us, which is great because I don't, I don't think that's always so easy. But, you know, the, the priorities are clear on the government side and they fit very well with what we're trying to accomplish with RICA. So it's, 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 when I say it's a partnership, I mean, it's a, it's a real partnership. I mean, people are working together to achieve the same goals and everybody's making sacrifices when they need to make them. Uh, to get that accomplished, and, and that's a real partnership. When I look at, you know, the all of the kids sitting there in front of me, um, you have no idea how it's gonna turn out, where they're gonna end up, uh, what they're gonna do. But, you know, if I look 10 years down the road, I think, you know, obviously the number one thing is you hope that almost all of them have a great job and they love what they do. Um, but second of all, um, I think if you look at the mission of RICA, you would really hope, I would really hope that in 10 years, you've had some uh, people come out of the school, some kids come out of the school that have really contributed to changing Rwanda in the future. Now, some of those, that means some of them are gonna be business leaders, some of them are gonna be entrepreneurs, some are gonna be in the government, um, but hopefully a lot of them 
uh, are involved in agriculture and they're helping farmers learn how to farm better and 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 in a way that allows you know Rwanda to be a stronger uh, country in the future uh, that Rwanda can be more productive in the future and that it's preserved a lot of its resources and I hope every one of the students who walks out of here is able to accomplish something great and and Rwanda will give them the opportunity to do that they're in a country where they have that opportunity and that is not true everywhere. 